Timmy's going to have to chase Mason Gillis around. Gillis more of a perimeter-oriented player. And a three for Timmy to get it started. The starting five for the Zags, who defeated Portland State 102-78 last night. Julian Strother, a terrific all-around talent for them. Far this year, nice soft touch there by Nolan Hickman. And Edie down the floor, and Timmy got it clean. From beyond the arc in the early going, but unable to knock him down. And Gillis knocked those down last night against West Virginia. Nice little runner there by Strother. Gonzaga by four. Guy who tore his ACL and MCL, missed all of last year. Edie a touch. Edie a finish. That's much better action. They ran cutters. A little bit crowded down there, so Edie backs out of the paint. Nice moves by Kaufman Wren. Kaufman Wren has great feet. Well, Purdue was in such a hurry early on. Great angle to the basket. That was beautiful. They got it to a position where Zach Eady could move his assignment up the lane. Smith, a guy not really recruited by a lot of high major teams as Eady swats that one away. Lucky he didn't get a push off there. And then Smith buries the three. Yeah, I think there are going to be a lot of Big Ten teams over the years that would wish he went to Montana. How about Timmy over a couple of defenders, including Edie? Lawyer have shut down on the baseline. You have to attack the basket here. Can't settle for a jumper. Newman does. Offensive. And knocks it in. But Purdue has really fought. And they've done it with a, an inspired defensive effort. Hoffman ran off the glass and good. Yeah, foul trouble. Pro problematic foul trouble is like surgery. It's only it's only problematic if it's somebody else. If it's you instead of somebody else. Yeah. The wrong guys are shooting threes for Gonzaga. Wide open lawyer. Count it. By the way, Purdue plays Davidson in a couple of weeks, so uh, the two lawyer brothers will be on opposite sides as Timmy reverses it up and in. Stolen away by Hickman. Gets it back from Timmy. Timmy spinning and converting. Edie a miss. Bolton for three. Edie got the ball much more consistently last night than he's been getting it tonight, but with all the attention paid to him. Braden Smith was on, got switched off on Drew Timmy. Gonzaga didn't take advantage of it. Hickman from the corner for three. Well, you just can't leave him. You know, the three shooters you have to stay with for Gonzaga are Bolton, Strother, and Smith. Morton into the paint. Up and in. And usually it seems, Jay, when they get the ball to him, they get it to the wing, then they get it down to him. Now they go from up top as Lawyer picks up the assist. But it's going to put Drew Timmy in some difficult spots, and Purdue has to take advantage of that. No foul trouble for either big guy. They've each got one. Timmy driving and scoring. Over the top, inside. Nothing you can do about that. You can see a staggered screen. Now that's going to allow the shot, which is beautiful by Newman. Brings it down and kind of knocks down his own teammate in the process. Timmy, touch pass for the corner three for Smith. Hey, what a great pass by Drew Timmy. I mean, they, they average 62% from two-point range, and they just got cut up on that out-of-bounds underplay to give up a, a dunk to Caleb first. His second. Hickman keeps the dribble alive and scores. He's had a nice game. Boy, what a swing that would have been for the Zags. Smith the handoff and first the finish. Boy, Braden Smith has made some big plays, even though Purdue did not get a bucket out of it. It was probably Nolan Hickman in the corner off that great touch pass. First is open and buries it. And bring Timmy up to set a ball screen and fade out of it. And Timmy goes to work and scores again. Boy, he's crafty. But lofting at the exact right distance to get it over the outstretched arm of Zach Eady. Beautiful look from Smith into Eady.
Boy, it's amazing. How do you lose Zach Eady after he sets a ball screen? Timmy gets the shot off but misses. Greg on the weak side, and the first free throw's coming. And it's a chance for a three-point play for Ben Gray. Boy, Smith had Edie wide open for a second, but that window closed. Gillis from the corner for three. And a foul and a chance for three. What's wrong with you guys up in Canada? You couldn't spot that he was a hooper from the beginning? <laughs> Smith oh. in the back. What a play! I'll tell you, the freshman is having a sensational night. Greg with another three for the Zags. Gillis on Greg. Bolton. Yes, good play. I mean, you're not going to be able to trade baskets or out three this team. you got to get stops. Gillis gets a clean look. And he knocks down a three. And it's roll replace action. As Edie rolls, Gillis replaces up. Jump hook for Timmy. But as you said, trading baskets not good enough right now for the Zach. Great cut. Wide open. And the extra pass to Morton. Well, you, you look how he threw right over the double team. He just turns around and throws a diagonal pass. Which I guess is fitting for a Canadian. The big maple. The big maple. Bolton and one. But great use of the right hand. Only five for Gonzaga. That was the first turnover in 15 minutes for the Boilermakers as Edie swats one away. And they'll use it. Smith into Edie for two more. That's asking too much for no. It's like trying to stop a truck going downhill. It's not going to happen. Hickman turns it over. Morton is fouled. And you have to give that young man a lot of credit for how he has stuck with it and how Purdue has stuck with it. It's a great testament for a big guy being patient. Look at Morton. And again, no need to rush to the basket. That is loaded with guys that know how to play. Smith with two more. What a night he's had. Checking their notes in. Why didn't we go after that kid hard? They're saying it already. Coaches are leaning, turning when he's lighting them up. Down eight early. Purdue roars back and wins it going away. 84 to 66.